Nursing is a specialized profession that is constantly evolving to address the needs of society. Nurses play an important role in providing care for patients to help manage their physical needs, treat health conditions, and prevent illnesses. Good day. We are the researchers from the SN3A Group 4A. I am Daniela Perido, and together with me are Francine of Kiria, Charities, Kali Pico, and Winslow Pontes to present our research study entitled Level of Confidence on Clinical Exposure During Blended Learning Among Nursing Students. Self-confidence is an important factor in clinical practice and to become competent nurses. Learning in clinical setting is beneficial as it allows for a productive learning experience that can boost self-confidence. However, when the COVID-19 virus reached the country in 2020, the mode of education shifted. Nursing students were made to practice in dummies and formulated care plans based in hypothetical scenarios. Now, third-year nursing students are in face-to-face -face rotations in several hospital wards as part of blended learning after two years of online education. With this, the researchers are interested in knowing how this mode of education affects the confidence level of nursing students. This study sought to determine the level of confidence on clinical exposure during blended learning among nursing students. Specifically, this study sought to answer the following research questions. First, what is the demographic profile of nursing student in terms of sex and section? Second, what is the level of confidence on clinical exposure during blended learning among nursing students in terms of abilities, skills, and knowledge? Third, is there a significant difference between the level of confidence on clinical exposure during blended learning among nursing students when grouped according to abilities, skills, and knowledge? The methodology section has discussed the methods and procedures of the study. For the research design, the study utilized a quantitative descriptive approach because researchers aimed to assess the confidence of 11 nursing students as they were exposed to various hospitals for their clinical exposure. This design was the most appropriate because the variables were not controlled since it focuses on each of the participants' views and opinions. Hence, the answers were not altered and the phenomenon of interest was simply being studied as it occurred naturally. The survey method in conducting the study was through a paper survey consisting of a series of questions created by the researchers. This approach gave the researchers the advantage of analyzing their thoughts easily as it is a straightforward process. With the large population size, the survey method offers a good statistical significance compared to other data gathering methods. Also, answers in the survey are uniform, giving the researchers precise results. For the participants of this study, the researchers selected the level 3 nursing students as their participants. To fairly distribute the survey, the researchers got sample size for each section, and Slovin's formula was used to generate a sample size from the total population and a fishbowl method was applied to randomly select the respondents for this study. The researchers used a stratified random sampling method that helped equally divide the population into subgroups. So the total population is 273 students, and using the Slovens formula, the sample size is 162. While using the stratified random technique, the sample fraction was shown to indicate the sample size for each section. In this study, the researchers utilized a researcher-made questionnaire to collect, analyze, and interpret data from Level 3 nursing students at the University of St. LaSalle. It was divided into two parts, the demographic profile of the participants of the study, the sex and section, and the level of confidence of nursing students on clinical exposure during blended learning, with 28 questions classified into three in terms of abilities, skills, and knowledge. And then a five-point Likert scale was used. For our validity, Good and Skate's validity testing was used for critic and evaluation of the instrument, which was validated by three RNMN validators with a score of 5.0 from two validators and a 4.538. Total for our validity score is 4.84, which is regarded as excellent. For our reliability, the Cronbach's alpha test was done, SPSS statistics was used for computation, which led to a result of 0 0.964, indicating an acceptable level of reliability. 
The next section will discuss the results and discussion of the study. The pie graph for the profile variable of nursing students according to sex shows that there were more female participants than males. Most participants came from sections A, B, and E, as we can see in our second pie graph, with 24 students, and the lowest number of participants came from section C with 21 students. For the level of confidence and clinical exposure during blended learning among nursing students in terms of ability, skills, and knowledge, the finding shows that skill have the mean, which is 3.94, which interprets as high confidence, followed by abilities with a mean of 3.66, which is interpreted as high confidence, and the lowest is knowledge, which is 3.28, which interpret as moderate. The scores for ability finding shows that working collaboratively with other healthcare provider while respecting individual differences is the most confident ability of a student nurse with a mean of 4.16. And for the skill, finding shows that recording a correct client's vital signs, especially the blood pressure, is the most confident skill a nursing student acquire with a mean of 4.35. And for knowledge, memorizing proper gloving and donning and doffing of PPE is the most confident knowledge with a mean of 4.24. This finding is similar by the study of Costa et al. 2020. Learning interventions that create technical professional in the field of nursing includes practice skills and simulated clinical scenarios. Hence, student needs to practice procedures until they reach the expert level in Patricia Banner's model. For the significant difference in level of confidence on nursing student in terms of ability, skills, and knowledge when grouped according to sex and section, findings shows that the male are more confident than female in terms of ability, skills, and knowledge. Moreover, there is no difference in the abilities and skill domain of the level of confidence of nursing student when grouped according to sex at a 5% level of significant. Therefore, the hypothesis is not rejected in abilities and skill while rejected in knowledge. The findings in the study are similar to the study of Job Hafe at AL 2020, which revealed that in terms of clinical knowledge, abilities, and procedural confidence, operating room experience, and other competence, male self-report scores are higher than females. In terms of section, section C has the highest level of confidence in terms of skill with a mean of 102.98. And the lowest is Section D with a mean of 59.35. For the skills, Section E has the highest mean of 92.06. And the lowest is Section G with 72.89. For the knowledge, Section E has the highest mean of 99.85. And the lowest is Section G with 66.85. Therefore, null hypothesis is rejected of for the abilities and knowledge while not projected in the skills. For the conclusion, the study's findings underline the need of knowing the probable challenges experienced by level three nursing students that influence their confidence in terms of skills, abilities, and knowledge during the blended learning. Furthermore, this study would give students critical information that would allow them to examine other techniques of increasing their confidence during clinical exposure. Clinical instructors may find the data useful in developing successful techniques to assist their students in improving their skills, abilities, and knowledge to achieve high confidence, particularly in the most crucial areas of their clinical exposure. In light of the collected data and conclusions, the following are recommended by the researcher. The nursing administrators of health institutions may further enhance these skills in the hospital setting by giving more time and exposure and tasks to the level three nursing students. The nursing school administrators may determine an enhanced strategic plan to yield an effective system that can contribute to the memorization and continued progress on the student's confidence in their skills and abilities. The clinical instructors may determine what makes the confidence between males and females different. The level three student nurses of the institution may continually read up on the different techniques and topics previously discussed to ensure accuracy of the skills to be performed and to further enhance one's abilities of alleviating one's suffering. The community clientels may be more cooperative with the level three student nurses when given care to the different procedures conducted in accordance with the current situation. And the future researchers may study deeper on how one sex affects confidence in skills, abilities, and knowledge when faced with the different hospital procedures following blended learning. And that is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.
For the references used throughout the study, kindly scan the QR code below.